Imagine you're walking down the street on your way to your favorite convenience store. When you get close to the store, you realize four guys are walking towards you with bars of soap and an electric razor. Now this may seem weird at first, but then you realize they're trying to attack you. And as they wrestle you to the ground, they start to try to shave your beard. Oh, hell no. Hey guys, my name's Derek, and today we're going to go back in history to a story about a man who was not only attacked for having a beard, but he was then arrested and placed in jail. In 1789, in a small farming village called No Town, was born a man named Joseph Palmer. Raised in No Town, Joseph worked on the family farm in Massachusetts until one day he was called away to serve in a war. One you might have heard of called the War of 1812. Unfortunately, not much is written about Joseph until later in his life. Palmer lived a normal American life in the early 1800s. He loved his family, he served his community, and he followed his religious beliefs. It's said that Joseph grew his beard because of the influence of an evangelist who came to visit. To fully understand the concept of the beard in the early 1800s, you have to understand that there was no fashion for beards in society. Unless you were Jewish American, it was looked down upon to have a beard in society. Much like the Jewish communities during this time, Palmer was treated differently because of the way he looked. Women would cross the street just to avoid walking on the same side of the sidewalk with him, something I experience every day. Children would me. mock Palmer every day, tease him, call him names. It even got to the point where some of the men were physical and abusive, and not only that, they would throw things at him as he would pass through town. So much abuse was taken by Palmer for the simple fact that he just wanted to grow a beard. Surprisingly, it's noted that even a minister in the local town church told Palmer that he looked like the devil. To which Palmer replied back, Hey bro, I have never seen Satan wear a beard like this. But that dude Jesus, he'd be balling with a glorious beard such as this. Now I'm just paraphrasing and making it more modern. Now the way Palmer was treated was so bad that one morning on his way to a hotel to deliver meats and cucumbers, he was approached by four men. These four men had bars of soap and razor blades. They then wrestled with him on the ground, trying to shave his beard. At this point, Palmer pulled out a jackknife and was able to stab two of them in the leg. Eventually, the police did show up. However, Palmer was then arrested for unprovoked assault. What the fuck is this? I know. Who would have thought? However, it doesn't get any better. Just save him. Palmer is then presented in front of Judge David Brigham, where Palmer tries to present his case. The judge then finds him guilty and orders him to pay a $10 fee, a $40 court fee, and a $700 bond, or else he faces jail time. At this point, Palmer pleads innocent and refuses to pay. Now sent to jail, Palmer is now experiencing the same harassment and assault from the inmates, as well as the guards participating. The guards themselves even put him in solitary confinement and begin to starve him. With the abuse that Palmer is receiving, he begins to document these in daily journals and letters to the judge, the sheriff, and the newspapers. Palmer is fed so little that he decides to collect the entire day's worth of food and mail it to the judge so that he can demonstrate how little he is being fed during the 18 months into the jail now, sentence, when the newspapers finally catch wind of the story that Palmer has been writing in the letters to them. The sheriff's department and the judge have experienced extreme embarrassment at this point. Palmer's mother even writes a letter to the judge pleading, pleading to let him go. At which point the judge comes back into the jail and speaks to Palmer, begging him 
that his own mother wants him to just pay the $10 fee to be released. Palmer replies, I refuse to pay the fee because then that means I am guilty. After continuous press releases by the newspaper, the sheriff's department can no longer handle the extreme embarrassment. Now they have pleaded with Palmer multiple times to just accept the $10 fee. He refuses to do so. At this point, they have now tied him to a chair, they carry him to the front doors, and they set him on the sidewalk as a free man. Now as a free man, Joseph Palmer goes on to change the way prisoners are treated in the jail system. Advocating for prison reform and ending slavery, Palmer collaborates with other advocates to help create a utopia society. Although this utopia society didn't last very long, Palmer did continue to go on and farm this land and welcome other freelancers, artists, and advocates to his property. Today you can still visit Joseph Palmer's tombstone with an engravement of his majestic beard and an inscription of a quote that states, persecuted for wearing the beard. Beards have come a long way since then. And if you enjoyed this story of history about beards, please hit the like button and let me know so I can continue to make content like this. Consider subscribing and becoming part of the Beach Bum family. Until next time, always be you.